I bet you didn't know the dark secrets buried in Jamestown's past. The year is 1610, Jamestown, Virginia, a place where hope and despair intertwine, where the dreams of a new world clash with the harsh realities of survival. A harsh winter grips the fledgling colony, its icy fingers tightening around the settlers' hearts. The cold is relentless, seeping into every corner of their lives. Wind howls through skeletal trees, a mournful symphony that echoes the settlers' despair. The barren branches seem to whisper secrets of their own. The James River, choked with ice, offers no escape. Its frozen surface is a stark reminder of their isolation, cutting them off from the outside world. Inside the fort, shadows dance in the flickering light. The dimly lit rooms are filled with an eerie silence, broken only by the occasional crackle of the fire. They whisper of secrets buried beneath the snow, secrets best left undisturbed for fear of what they might reveal. The ground holds memories of those who came before. A young boy, Samuel, huddles by a sputtering fire. His small frame shivers, not just from the cold, but from the stories he's heard. His eyes, wide with fear, reflect the flickering flames. Each shadow cast by the fire seems to hold a new terror, a new mystery. He has heard the whispers too, tales of disappearances, of settlers who ventured into the woods and never returned of strange lights in the woods, flickering in the distance like ghostly beacons. They beckon, but to follow is to court danger, of a darkness that hungers, lurking just beyond the edge of the settlement. It waits, patient and unyielding, for those who dare to stray too far. The thaw reveals a gruesome discovery. A small skull, bleached white by the elements, lies half buried near the riverbank. Its empty sockets stare accusingly at the heavens. Word spreads quickly through the terrified colonists. This is no animal skull. It is the skull of a child. Fear turns to suspicion. Who is the child? Where are its parents? Whispers of sacrifice and dark rituals circulate. The colonists, already on edge from the brutal winter, descend further into paranoia. The winter, known now as the starving time, tightens its grip. Food is scarce. Death is a constant companion. The colonists, driven to the brink, turn on each other. Desperate measures are taken, unthinkable acts committed, rumours of cannibalism surface. At first they are dismissed as madness, but the evidence mounts. Bones stripped bare are found discarded near the fort. The whispers grow louder. The darkness deepens. Section 4, Whispers on the Bone In the heart of the old Jamestown settlement, shadows lengthen as dusk falls, casting an eerie glow over the ancient town. A strange man arrives in Jamestown, his presence unsettling the villagers. Whispers follow him as he walks through the cobblestone streets, his dark cloak billowing in the evening breeze. Master Hunt, they call him, a figure shrouded in mystery, his name spoken in hushed tones. His reputation precedes him, a man of peculiar talents and arcane knowledge. He claims to have knowledge of the old ways, of reading the whispers on bones. His hands move deftly over the ancient relics, each touch revealing secrets long buried. He examines the child's skull, his fingers tracing the smooth contours with a reverence that borders on obsession. The candlelight flickers, casting dancing shadows on the walls. His eyes, dark and intense, seem to see beyond the veil of the present, peering into the past, and perhaps even the future. They hold a depth that is both captivating and terrifying. He speaks of ancient rites, of a malevolent entity appeased by sacrifice. His voice is low, almost a whisper, as if the very air around him is listening intently. He points to markings on the skull, barely perceptible scratches, almost invisible to the naked eye. These marks, he says, tell a story of pain and ritual, proof, he claims, of a ritualistic killing. The evidence is there, etched into the bone, a silent testament to the dark practices of the past. The villagers listen, their fear palpable, as the whispers on the bone reveal their secrets. Section 5. The Starving Time The colonists, their minds frayed by hunger and fear, embrace Master Hunt's pronouncements. 
They see the entity in the shadows, hear its whispers in the wind. They believe they are cursed, that their suffering is a punishment for their transgressions. The starving time claims many lives. Some die of disease, others of starvation, and some vanish without a trace. Their fates forever entwined with the dark legend of Jamestown. Section 6. Echoes in the Dust Centuries later, the secrets of Jamestown still linger, hidden beneath layers of history and time. The ruins, though silent, speak volumes to those who listen closely. The child's skull, carefully preserved, rests in a museum display case. It is a poignant reminder of the fragility of life in those early days. A silent testament to a brutal past, it stands as a stark contrast to the modern world we know today. A reminder of the darkness that can consume even the bravest of souls. The corridors of history are filled with shadows, each one telling a story of struggle and survival. Was the child a victim of ritual sacrifice? The rituals of the past, often shrouded in mystery, leave us with more questions than answers, or merely a casualty of a harsh and unforgiving time. The winters were brutal, the resources scarce, and a survival was a daily battle. The answer, lost to the mists of time, remains elusive. The forest, with its ancient trees, holds secrets that may never be uncovered. The whispers of Jamestown, faint but persistent, remind us that some secrets refuse to stay buried. The wind, as it blows through the ruins, carries with it the echoes of the past. That the past, like a ghost, can reach out and touch us. It lingers in the corners of our minds, a constant presence that we cannot ignore. Even after all these years, the stories of Jamestown continue to captivate and haunt us. The changing seasons over the ancient ruins serve as a reminder that while time moves forward, the past is never truly gone.